today we're finally, for real, going to set up the Dutch style aquarium. You can see it right there. Even though I've been waiting for this for the longest time, super excited about it, I've also been really nervous and kind of not wanting to do it at the same time because Dutch style aquariums, while they can look really beautiful with all the different kinds of plants and colors and just the variety, it's gonna be such a pain to maintain it. To have to cut all these stem plants and replant them and I'm not going to use all of this. I'll tell you more about all these plants in just a moment but this is something I've been excited for and I know many of you have been excited for this as well but also something I've just not been really looking forward to because maintenance is gonna be so hard and time-consuming. I'm not going to use all of these plants. You can see all the labels here but all, there's too many plants and all these plants, this is good for probably a 90 centimeter or 120 centimeter four foot tank or three foot tank. Yeah, it's probably enough for a tank of that size, but I'm gonna tr try to use as much of it as I can in this compact little space. And it might be kind of a messy Dutch style scape, but I wanna showcase some of the cool plants. Some plants like this, the Inclinata Cuba that's in the back. Take a look at how cool that plant looks and I also have this plant right here this is one that I'm super excited about Ludwigia tornado also known as the twister plant I think but you can kind of see the leaves just twist upwards kind of like a tornado which is really cool and then we've got a bunch more cool rotalas and yeah I've got so many rotalas I don't want to use all of them because rotalas grow really bushy and dense and having too many dense plants will just yeah it won't look very Dutch style so yeah I'm gonna try to limit what I use I've got some more uh, Ludwigia Inclinata green and red I've also got Pantanal uh, which is kind of in its immersed form right now over there but we'll be using that as well and yeah I've got a bunch of plants that I'm excited to use and I've got some more here these two plants I want to use this right here is Cryptocorn Wenti green gecko I'm super excited about this I'm going to plant it in the foreground area and then this one here, the Wigias Phyrocarpa, and this is a super cool plant. It's not doing too well in this pot right now. I've left it sitting in here for a couple of months, so I gotta use it really soon, and we'll use, we're using it today. However, before we get this tank set up, there's a couple of things I wanna do, and first is I want to do some maintenance on this tank. I haven't done a water change in this tank for quite a while. I've added the mono shrimps in here, and they've done a good job keeping all the algae uh, they ate all the hair algae that was in this tank or either it died off or they ate it I think they ate it, but now there's a bunch of algae growing on the glass So I want to scrub that down you can see kind of a lot of this green spot algae on the glass So I'm gonna clean this tank up this tank over here the nature style tank I gave it a big trim the other day, and I also did a water change So we're not gonna touch this tank that much, but you can see up here. I've got some floating plants This is Rotala macrandra green that my friend he also gave me some of that, so I'm gonna plant some of that in this tank uh, in the future. But yeah, the gold tetras are doing amazing in this tank. This tank is looking quite nice right now. And then this tank, yeah, we're gonna maintain this. And also, the very first thing I'll be doing is I'll be unboxing these two things. Now these two things, these two items I've been super excited about. Shihi Ross Aquatic Studio have sent me these and this is going to... This is going to make the aquariums, the, the fish tanks, look better. Well, the light, the light, yeah, more specifically the light, it's gonna look better. So, what these are, are light stands. All right, check this out. So right here we've got an acrylic leg, Chihiros acrylic leg for the regular WRGB2. And then for the WRGB2 Pro, which you guys are sitting on right here, is the metal legs so yeah let's go and set these up and it's gonna make the tanks look well i keep saying tanks but it's gonna make the lights look cool which will then make the tanks look cooler all right so i'll show you guys what it looks like right now so right now we've just got the regular stand right here you can see the regular metal stand and the good thing about this stand is that it's adjustable once you change it to this 
it becomes non-adjustable. Well, that is unless you've got the WRGB2 Slim. The WRGB2 Slim is one of my favorite lights. It looks so nice, it's sleek, it's slim, and it's got the metal legs that's adjustable. And I think this type of leg looks so much better than this type of leg. And the cool thing is that this is adjustable. Let me show you guys how that is done uh, right here. So let me, yeah, this, this thing's kind of in the way. I, I apologize, but we'll, we'll just take this lid off. I don't need. This was just to prevent the mono shrimp from jumping out. Can you guys see that? It's kind of hard to see right now, but so say you've got a slightly longer tank uh, that that's not that's slightly larger than the dimensions of the light, longer than the dimensions of the light. You can slide this in so that it reaches the tank if your tank is bigger, but. Yeah, so you can kind of see how that works. Really cool system, really cool function. I wish it was the same for this one right here with these legs, but unfortunately, it's just a little rectangle that you place there and it's just a styling upgrade. Yeah, so let's hook these up and let me move you guys out of zoom. Let's hook these up and you guys can tell me which style you like better. All right, and here we go. We've got the WRGB2 Pro with a metal stand. Take a look at how good that looks. I really, really like this. Don't mind this. We're gonna change these pipes out for some glassware later on in the video. We've got the Lily pipes, the set right here. It's gonna look so good with a Dutch style tank having the nice glass pipes. I really like glass pipes. Compared to metal pipes and plastic pipes, I think glass are the best. Even though they are more delicate, fragile, you gotta be careful with them. If you know how to use them, uh, they're really nice to have. We've got the metal stand on this tank. What do you guys think about that? Comment down below. And then we've got this right here, the acrylic stand for the WRGB2. Yeah, how do you guys like this? I've gotta wipe down my fingerprint marks because that, that kind of is an eyesore, so I'll wipe that down later. And I've also gotta clean this lily pipe. If we clean this thing up, it's gonna just like complete the look. It's gonna look amazing. Right on this tank, the WRGB2 Slim tank, the Iwagumi, we've got the lily pipe outflow, but I'm currently using a plastic Eheim inflow pipe. And I'm gonna change that out in the future for a glass one. And that's the only thing that I need to upgrade in the future. And then we're kind of like done with this system. I just gotta maintain the tank regularly and we'll have like a nice mini gallery of 60 centimeter standard tanks. And yeah, I could have gone all rimless tanks for this section. I've got the rimless ADA 60P right here, but if I get two more ADA tanks, it's gonna be kind of expensive. Like one tank costs $100, which is, like, I don't wanna spend another $200 on this tank. I could get another brand, a rimless tank, but another brand, but I kind of also like the look of this black trim. I think it just looks really original and really like classic. So that's why I stuck with these for these two tanks. And also for Dutch style tanks, I really love Dutch style tanks with the black trim. I think it just kind of completes like the photo frame look. Yeah, that's why for the Dutch style tank, I especially wanted to have the black trim tank. So now with all that done, we can finally set the 60 centimeter Dutch style tank. Finally, we can do this. I've been so excited for this, but I don't know where to begin. So I guess the first, I haven't even planned this out, so I'm not sure, but I'll probably move all these plants out, move them into another tank for a moment, and I've got to take all the soil out because we're replacing it. This soil, it's a brown color soil, but it's got no nutrients in it or very minimal nutrients in it, and I've been using it for almost close to two years now, so I'm gonna remove this and we're going to be using a different kind of soil today. This soil is called nature soil, and the reason why I bought it, I've never used it before, but the reason why I bought it is because it was so cheap. It was half the price of the soil that I regularly buy, so hopefully it works good for these plants that we'll be using today. So I'm gonna select the plants that I wanna use and put them in this tray for now, and I'll put like a paper towel over it uh, just to keep it moist. tank nice and cleaned up. Take a look at just how good this tank looks when it's nice and clean. I should just leave it like this 
the way it is um, because yeah I could just wash that every single day it looks so nice like that but of course we're not going to do that we're going to plant it today and make a beautiful Dutch style tank here and I have no idea the plan of today's setup I don't know what plant's going to go where it's just going to be random and I'm going to like wing it I don't yeah just just wing it today these are the plants that I'll be using in today's setup and there's a whole ton of them mostly stem plants I think they're all stem plants but I'm not sure yeah they're, they're oh yeah I'm gonna use some cryptocorns so cryptocorns will go in the front and I might take some pink flamingo crypt from this tank because pink flamingo crypt in the nature style tank doesn't really like suit it yeah it doesn't match so I might pull that out put it in here so we'll have two types of cryptocorns in this tank in the foreground area because they stay kind of small and then in the back we'll have all the nice stem plants and it's going to be really exciting so I've got all these plants here to plant and then I've also got so this is the cryptocorn green gecko that I showed you earlier I've got the Ludwigia spirocarpa and then in this tank as well I've got a bunch more plants that I'm planning to add into that tank and man there's so many of them there's even some floating up here so yeah these are a frog bit, but yeah, there's more like back here. Uh, Ludwigia inclinata pantanal, which is really cool. So lots of plants. I've got more here. These two I'm not going to use today. This one I'm not going to use. I've got some Lagenandras in here. I might use this. I might not. I'm not sure because I'm adding two types of cryptocorns. This is similar to cryptocorn and it grows quite big. So I'm not sure if I might. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or not. But yeah, so I'm going to begin. Let's start adding the soil in, and we're going to use one whole bag of this. Wait, first, I want to read this thing. Nature soil carefully selected substrate formulate. One eternity later. And for a Dutch style scape, in my nature aquarium scape and my Iwagumi scape here, I put a layer of pumice or base fertilizing substrate layer. It's like a pumice gravelly stone. And that builds height as well as kind of promotes healthy bacteria growth. But for today's tank, I'm not gonna do that because in a Dutch style tank, you have lots of stem plants and replanting is gonna probably be necessary. And if you replant that, all of that stuff in the bottom, that pumice will come up to the top and I don't want that to happen. So today we're only using soil. This soil looks just like ADA Amazonia soil. Now let's spread it out and we can get to planting. If you're not one to even out your gravel, you gotta start because this extra step makes your tank looks so much better once it's set up and it's fun too it's not challenging a little slope to the back just to add some depth check this out isn't this cool ADA pretty cool right ADA little tool to uh, flatten out the sand Pretty nice. And guess what? I've got one extra. So, wait, hold on. I've got one extra right here. So, I'll be giving this away. In the comments below, just comment something uh, positive. And also, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And I'll pick one lucky win winner randomly. And yeah, you might have the chance to win an ADA. I'm not sure what they call this. The triangle. We call it the ADA triangle. Darn it, I thought I was recording, but it turns out I wasn't. And what I basically just missed recording, what I, I was basically speaking to myself with the camera turned off. But what I basically said just now is that um, I like to fill water up to the soil level. It just, in my opinion, makes planting a lot easier. And the way I do that is by moving this around kind of sideways like this so that it doesn't damage the soil so that you don't get any holes in the soil. Another thing you can do is put a piece of plastic down or a little bowl or something so that it doesn't damage the soil and it disperses the water evenly but yeah some people like to plant dry in dry soil i like to plant in wet soil that's basically just personal preference it doesn't matter how you plant but now let's 
finally begin the planting process. Alright, the Dutch style tank is finished. We've got it all planted and I am really loving the way it's looking right now. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this Dutch style tank. I'm so excited to watch all these plants grow, but I'm definitely not looking, as I mentioned earlier, looking forward to doing all the maintenance. It's just gonna take hours each week just to trim all these plants and replant them and man, it's gonna be so hard, but I guess it's gonna be fun as well. I get to, men I get to play around with all these plants and check up on how they're doing. Uh, but yeah, there's a few plants I didn't mention that I put in this tank earlier. Uh, I'll go over some of them. This right here, this orange stem plant is Rotala flower. It's kind of hard to get a good look at it now, but when once this grows taller and bigger, the leaves are quite a cool shape, and I really like that plant, so it's going to be interesting. I've got Ludwigia senegalensis right here. It's still very small. doesn't look like much right now, but I promise you that's a cool-looking plant. We've got the two Ludwigia spirocarpas that I showed you earlier, uh, and then we've got Ludwigia inclinata red, which is this reddish plant right here, and then in the back we've got Ludwigia inclinata green. I want to give a huge shout-out to my friend. I'll link his Instagram in the description below, but he gave me almost all of these plants, probably like 90% of these plants. The only plants he didn't give me were the Cryptocorn green gecko, the Cryptocorn pink flamingo, and the Ludwigia spirocarpa. So those three plants are ones that I bought, but the rest he gave them to me, so if you have the time, go check out his Instagram. He's mostly a photography page, but he does keep aquariums, and sometimes he will post his tanks on Instagram and on his stories, and his tanks are much better looking than mine, so please go check him out. And also, if you took a look at that tank, we've got the black background on the Dutch style tank, whereas the nature style tanks, the Iwagumi and the nature style tanks, we've got like light colored backgrounds. This one is the white with the blue gradation, and then this one is just the full solid white look. And with nature style tanks, I really, really like the white background because it just creates more sense of depth and it feels lighter, you know? I I don't know how to say it, but it, it just, I, I really like the light color. It's more, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, I think you guys understand. It's, yeah. But for a Dutch style tank, a black background is kind of my personal choice. It's really personal preference. It doesn't matter. You can have a white background, you can have a blue background, but the reason why I like black backgrounds for Dutch style tanks is just because it contrasts so well with all the different colors of plants there are. You can see that red plant. Um, with a black backdrop. It just looks so good and we're gonna have so many more reddish orange plants growing in this tank And I think the black background just really really contrasts well. Also remember the giveaway I'm giving away an ADA triangle uh, So just comment something positive below and make sure you subscribe to this channel and one lucky winner can win this little thing and also I want to thank Chihiros for the nice light stands, we've got the metal legs for the WRGB2 Pro and the clear acrylic legs for the regular WRGB2. So yeah, this little gallery, the 60 centimeter tank gallery is coming together 
really, really nicely. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. The fish room is just getting better and better each day. So many more videos to come, so many more tanks to set up. It's so, so exciting. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. Remember to comment something down below and if you want to support this channel even more, you can consider becoming a member and I'll see you guys next time.